going on everybody it's your boy blink coming at you today with a new video idea so today i was outside just thinking about some new content that i can make some new ideas for something a video you know and uh, i thought to myself there's never really been an iron man challenge in dead by daylight so uh... to explain to people that don't know what that is basically i'm going to go into a match and it's going to be bare bones i'm going to use no items no add-ons no perks no offerings all that i have to use are the basic loops pallets window vaults in the game and everything that I can pick up in the match that I'm in. So if I loot a chest, I'm allowed to use that item, but I cannot use that item for the next round. Only items looted in the chest that round. Awesome, awesome. The first round we get doing this challenge, we get Rancid Abattoir on Coldwind Farm. This is by far my favorite map. I'm sure just by the sound of that chainsaw, you already know what's about to happen, but uh, Knowing me, I can't just leave a survivor on the hook, so I'm gonna go down for him. So, after he waited for the person to die on the hook, he is also gonna wait for me to die on the hook, and uh, holy shit, here we go, boys, off to the races. But we have no perks, so I have no decisive and no adrenaline, so. It really ends up that he's just gonna camp me again with a chainsaw. Yeah, you hold that chainsaw, big boy. A little cutie. Ooh, the Disturbed Ward. This is actually a really good map. There's a really nice infinite in the middle. Depending on what killer we get, this could be the good match. There he is. So and surprisingly you. enough, the first person found is your boy. What a spicy double back. Alright, watch this juke right here. He fakes, I go right around. I don't get too many steps on him, but I get enough to, you know, get away a little bit. He's really close, so I know I'm gonna have to pull something out of my butt here. Put that wall there, that was a 360 city, but uh, we get our speed burst now and we're just gonna go away. Sandbag a little bit. Now right here I keep looking back and uh, this Ash really wants to take a hit for me for some reason. I, I'm assuming he has an insta-heal, but I'm not sure, so I'm just kind of seeing what he's doing here. And for some reason, Freddy just hates me. He wants my booty because I'm slow that little blend that action. And uh, David hates, takes a hit there for some odd reason. Uh, but now we're double looping the same pallet. It's a very bad idea. He kind of hesitates, assuming that I'm cocky and I'm going to chase him for the loot. But uh, I know that he's just going to window vault that. Watch the shack to make sure he doesn't double back again. And uh, we're on pallet city. Now, normally I would say never drop god pallet uh simply because it's just worth a down to save that pallet you can loop forever on that but i have no perks right now so i really just need to get some space right here you see me pause i want to make sure that i know which side the window vault is on because this is the infinite loop if i consistently do this and i know where to go he will never catch me on this loop so this is a really key part of my survival in this game i am obviously solo queued being that it's an iron man challenge and survive with friends would basically just cheat the cheat the challenge so once I realize that my, my teammates are level-headed and they know what they're doing, at least they can get gens, they can wake people up, they know the basics of the game, I'm very confident now. And now at this point, these aces are just popping out of nowhere. Uh, we're getting our triple heal off, we're getting all of our wake-ups off. They're really uh, coherent to what's going on in the situation that we're in. So I know that we're about to get some work in. As you can see, three-man gen rush, toxic as fuck little tea bag to finish it off but all of a sudden i see this ash run out of nowhere obviously that means the killer's right behind him so i want to take some aggro off him as he did for me help him out a little bit now for some reason this freddy hasn't learned that this is literally the best loop on this entire map and he continues to chase me around this infinite Now this is very key for me escaping this situation. Even though he doubles back, I would not have had enough speed to make a slow ball over the infinite. I have to drop the pallet. I've only got a couple steps on him now and without dead heart, I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna make this pallet, but I want to attempt it anyway.
Now that he's on somebody else, I'm really concerned with getting these gems done, trying to keep those exit gates open. My team has been doing a phenomenal job of keeping aggro off of me when I was on the hook, or somebody else, vice versa, when they were on the hook. So I'm very confident at this point that we're going to make it out of this match. You'll notice I always kind of look down uh, on stream. I always look at my sleep state. I want to stay out of the sleep state as much as possible because those fake pallets, blood pools, they kill you versus Freddy. So if I can, every 60 seconds on the dot, I will blow up a generator or miss a skill check to stay out of the sleep state. So I see him teleport up to the gen, and I know he was on bottom floor, so it's very likely that he's not going to make it. I tried to stick the gen, but it's not worth getting pulled. I drop the pallet, avoid the hit, and uh, my friend seems to go right back to the gen and get pulled off, which really resets our progress. So right here, you're going to see another crucial moment of altruism. I see that my survivor is uh, also injured. I'm also injured. We're fighting for the heal a little bit. But just the fact that we all grouped up, we get this triple heal off, we get these wake-ups off, shows me that we're going to get out. I noticed this ace is over here working on last gen. My friend just got hit. This is time to rush this out. We're going to get out right here. Now I know Freddy's in an active chase, so instead of going right to the door, I try to go locate where he's going to hook the survivor, being that I can get them off and then take a hit for them to get them to the exit gate. Now that I'm really close, it's important that I stay out of sight so that Freddy cannot chase me and then not let me get the safe hook save on him, you know what I'm saying? So if I stay out of line of sight, hopefully Freddy runs past me to check the door, but unfortunately it looks like we pissed him off a little bit with no he's perch camping. and he's going to camp. At this point I realize he's never going to leave that hook unless I give him some bait, so I'm going to try to razzle dazzle him a little bit, give him some tea bags, some beckon overs, see if he leaves. Oh, nope, he goes right back to the hook. Now the exit door is close enough at this point to where me and probably one other person can heal up and take hits, so I'm still confident that we can get this person out. I'm just waiting for him to make a move at this point. Either we rush in or he leaves the hook. And just like Seal Team 6, the fucking boys roll through. Body block so the ace can't take a hit here. Nobody goes down. The other ace is going to get behind us and we all should be able to run out. That's how it's done, boys. Jesus in the chat. Oh, and also I'm solo queuing at rank 3, so I don't want to hear anything in the comments about, oh, you bullied a baby killer. <laughs> 